This video describes the DCAN 500 CAN over power line communication device and explains how to operate it. Main features Noise robust CAN A B transceiver over DC power line. Can bitrates 83.3 to 500 kilobits per second. Built in CAN power line arbitration mechanism. Multiple networks may operate over a single power line. 251 selectable carrier frequencies, 5 to 30 MHz. Channel interference detection. Communicates over a wide range of DC voltages. Sleep modes for low power consumption. Small footprint QFN32, 5 by 5 mm package. The DCAN 500 main building blocks consist of CAN protocol handling. RX FIFO memory, buffers between ECU and DCAN 500 logic. Codec, protects data by selected error correction codes. Modem, phase modulates messages over the power line. CSMA, CA, carrier sense and arbitration access to the power line. Sleep, mechanisms for low power consumption in sleep mode. Operation. The DCAN 500 transmits and receives CAN messages from, to CAN controller over DC and AC power lines. The messages are protected by error correction codes and phase modulated. Built-in carrier sense and unique arbitration mechanism enable CAN arbitration over the power line with multiple DCAN 500 nodes. When a CAN message is received from its ECU, the device performs a unique arbitration over power line based on the CAN's 11 LSVID bits. If DCAN 500 wins the arbitration, it generates an ACK in the CAN ACK slot. The entire CAN message is transmitted over the power line. If DCAN 500 loses the arbitration to other devices, it generates a NAC at the ACK slot. A CAN message will be received from the power line and transferred to the ECU. Received power line CAN message is automatically inserted into the RX FIFO, and then transferred to ECU via HDO pin. Local arbitration is initiated when the ECU starts TX message at the same time when the DCAN 500 transfers its received message. The local arbitration is the same as performed in CAN bus. If the ECU wins, the DCAN 500 stops its transfer and will transmit the ECU's CAN message. Then, the DCAN 500 will automatically re-transfer the RX FIFO message to its ECU. RTR pin indicates that RX FIFO is almost full. Hold it, to pause ECU transmission, to empty the RX FIFO. If the ECU loses the arbitration, the RX FIFO message will be transferred to the ECU. Then, ECU may re-transmit its CAN message. A dummy message is a 0 CAN message, consists of ID 0, and DLC 0. Such a message always wins the local CAN arbitration with its ECU, generating an artificial delay in the ECU-TX flow. The dummy message is generated automatically by the DCAN 500 to the HDO pin as long as the power line is not idle while ECU is starting a new CAN message transfer. Avoid using CAN message with ID 0 and or DLC 0 as part of CAN messages for dummy message proper operation. Interfacing with the DCAN 500, HDI and HDO interface with CAN RX and CAN TX signals. Pins 9 and 10 determine the CAN bitrate, 00 for 83 kilobits per second to 11 for 500 kilobits per second. Lowering the HDC pin allows access to the DCAN 500 registers, using CAN-alike commands. Optional pins control the interface, bus busy, RTR and sleep, coupling to the power line by a simple capacitor and protection diodes. Interfacing to a traditional CAN bus network by adding CAN transceiver. It allows seamless connection to CAN high and CAN low wires. 
carrier frequency configuration. The DCAN 500 uses a narrowband carrier frequency. Reg 2 defines the operating frequency, between 5 to 30 MHz, with a spacing of 100 kHz. Calculating the Reg 2 value, Reg 2 equals carrier frequency in MHz minus 5, multiplied by 10. Example for a carrier of 14.1 MHz, Reg 2 equals 14.1 minus 5, multiplied by 10, equals 5 B hex. Pin 13, interference output, high, when interference is detected on the carrier frequency. Pin 12, bus busy output, high, during transmission or reception on the power line. Output levels are configured by Reg 1. Bit 0, 1, maximal drive of 66 mA, 0, for 33 mA. Bit 3, 1, 2 volts, 0, 1 volt peak to peak. The DCAN 500 has four sleep modes, sleep 1 enhanced sleep, the device wakes up every 32 milliseconds to sense the power line for the wake up message. Consumption approximately 120 microamps. Sleep 2 Fast Wake Up, the device continuously monitors the power line for wake up message detection. Consumption approximately 1 mA. Sleep 3 Low Power, the device wakes up every 32 milliseconds to sense the power line for the wake up message. Consumption approximately 85 microamps. Sleep 4 Deep Sleep, wake up only locally by the ECU command, 65 microamps. Wake up message. Upon the rise of the end sleep pin, the DCAN 500 transmits a broadcast wake up message over the power line to all network connected devices. This feature is enabled when Reg 3 bit 3 is 1. Wake up message length Reg 3 bit 2. 0, 75 milliseconds. 1, 150 milliseconds. Entering into the sleep mode. There are two ways to enter sleep mode, 1, by asserting the NS sleep pin, 0, 2, by setting reg 3 bit 7 to, 1. When the device enters sleep mode, the INH pin is asserted, 0. Exiting sleep mode. There are three ways to exit sleep mode. 1, upon detection of a wake-up message. 2, raise the end sleep pin to, 1. 3, by toggling HDC. When exiting the sleep mode, the INH pin rises. Pay attention to the following, L1 and L2 inductors, use only the recommended parts. 2. Analog grounds, connect all analog GND to digital GND, close to the device pins. 3. Short PCB lines, keep L1, L2 lines to the device short. 4. Connect pull up and pull down resistors to GND or VCC. 5. Use 5 MHz band pass filter, bandwidth 1.4 MHz, 470 ohm. For more information, go to yamar.com slash product slash decan 500.